Hello guys, in this video we are going to go over the MoveIt, um, which is a managed file transfer software that a lot of big companies use to transfer files. And there is a zero day um, going, um, being exploited right now on the while, and they gave it a CVE 2023-34-362. So let's go over and see how you um, can be protected, which, are, uh, which versions are vulnerable, how to patch it, and you know, all that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and start. So here are the affected version. Um, if you have 2023, you want to go to 2023-01. So make sure that you go to 01. Um, it was fixed there. If you have the 2022.1, you want to go to 2022.1.5 and 2022.0. Then you want to go to the four and so on. So uh, make sure that if you have any of these versions, make sure that you patch. And um, also, if you have any of this affected version right now, you should just shut it down um, until you patch it. And then when you patch it, then you can um, continue um, with the daily, you know, you ju just keep carrying on. Um, so here are, you know, the products that are vulnerable and which are the, the versions that fix this vulnerability. Make sure that you patch this or you are going to be exploited because it is going um, like crazy. I know of a couple of companies that were hacked uh, where my friends worked and it is really really bad so make sure that you are patching if you're not if you're not patched make sure that you do are not um, make sure that you blocked any connectivity going to the move it um, software guys um, there is a couple of IOCs and detections um, that you can do there's a lot of yada rules out there um, that you can use um, here's a github um, link I'm going to put that on the description below so you guys can um, take a look and use it if you guys uh, want to do any detection and what to look for so like I said I'm going to leave that link on the description below um, there are some rules that you can use for uh, for detections um, and here's uh, if you take a look at the logs and if you see this post move it ASP move it ASP that DLL action equals to M2 you know that you are trying to be that they are trying to exploit you right now. Uh, this was provided by Huntress. So if you see this in your log, uh, just shut down the sh shut down the machine. Uh, make sure that nothing is coming in to the MoveIt software. Uh, no traffic goes in because you are being exploited. If you see this in your log, either you are being exploited or you were exploited already. So if you see this in the logs, um, it is bad news bears. Okay. And the guy that provided that was Florian Roth, and I believe he works for Huntress. Um, and they're also finding a, a bunch of web shells. Um, and one of those web shells is the human 2asp ASPX. Um, so they're using that to basically get a reverse shell to the machine and attack the you know the entire network um, up to another machine, extract that, exfiltrate, exfiltrate data. They're trying to do. Um, lots of things. They're probably going to install, um, you know, ransomware uh, on the network. So that's probably what how they're going to escalate. And here's a couple um, of the uh, of the hash that you can see over here that you can use um, if any of this matches um, any of those files that you find. Then you know that that you are in trouble. So human two that ASPX. If you find that in your machines you know that the bad actors, the hackers have uh, probably a web shell on your machine. All right. Um, and here's a lot of, there's a lot of comments also on Reddit. Um, a lot of people, you can see right here that this guy uh, that just look for a human to that ASPX in the dub 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 root. And if it is present, present, uh, you're probably affected. Um, so, you know, they're, they're giving a lot of um, comments out here, a lot of admins, a lot of um, move it admins out there um, giving tips, helping the community, which is really nice to see. Um, and you can see more comments out here. You can see more rules um, to detect the human to the ASPX web show. Um, like I said, this one was provided by Florian Roth. He was the one, he was really hands on. And like I said, I believe he works for Huntress. Really nice guy. Uh, uh, and providing, you know, rules for free for people. Um, to to use, which is you know really nice for him. Um, and as you can see over here, uh, more of the Florian Roth. Like I said, he keeps finding more uh, web shells out there, and 
you know, just people in the Reddit community helping each other, those admins out there. Um, and as you can see, there are some, um, the move transfer admins on reported on Reddit that they are finding uh, multiples um, DLL, like the app well, it, a random, I think it's a random number over here that DLL files. And if you find that, you know that you are affected. Um, something like uh, app underscore web underscore and some random characters in here that DLL, you know that you have in breach and you should um, shut down your network and start scanning your entire networks and all the machines. And here are some of the IP addresses. This one were provided by Huntress. Um, you can see the 138. 197, 152, that's 201. If you go to IP repute, reputation, reputation check, like, let's do our, check the reputation of that machine. Um, we are going to be using Talos. So if we go to one, 138, that 187, that 152, that 201, and talosintelligence.com it will give you um, the reputation of that and you can see is there any it says it's neutral I guess a lot of people are not um, they haven't had any any blacklist or anything on that one that 201 how about the 201 that's 97 that 137 that 33 Unknown reputation, nothing out there. Hmm. So this one, 148. Let's take a look at this one that was reported by. Actually, I didn't do. What was that? 209. Wait, 209. I put the incorrect IP address. It is 209. It's neutral. Nothing bad. Um, but just to make sure, you should just block those IP addresses because they're likely to be bad actors out there. Uh, 148. That 113, that 152, that 144, that one is also neutral. Hmm. Not a lot of people reporting it. So yeah, and like I said, oh wait, well, I haven't said this before, but the flipping computer, um, you know, they were told that this attack started over the U.S. Memorial Day holiday when fewer staff were monitoring the systems. So this is this is what hackers do, right? Whenever they find a zero day that nobody knows about, right? That is a zero day nobody knows about that vulnerability what they do is they just wait they use just, just hold that vulnerability and they just usually they just wait for like a three-day weekend when a lot of people leave early on fridays they go to the beach they take the family out they are you know they're probably taking a vacation they're far away from their computers there's a lot less staff not a lot of people monitoring the system and they start and this is when they start attacking um, because, you know, there's less people. Now, a lot of people are on site. A lot of people are on vacation, and which is re really smart for them. You know, they really wait. They usually really, oh, they always, most of the time, they just wait. Whenever they have a zero day, they just wait for, like, a holiday um, where they know that there's going to be either no staff or not a lot of staff um, on site or monitoring the system so they can start attacking. Um and like I said, <laughs> they did this uh, over the U.S. Memorial Day holiday weekend, which was a three-day weekend where a lot of people were, you know, out on the beach. It was There was ni nice weather here in the U.S., most, most part of the U.S., so people probably went to the beach, um, you know, took the family on vacation, a little, a little short vacation, so they were really not monitoring the system. And this is when they started hammering and attacking um, a lot of companies. So guys, um, just stay safe out there. Um, hackers are, they just are mad nowadays. Um, and you can see that this vulnerability was also exploited by the CLAP, CLAP ransomware gang to s steal data and extort organizations. So that's, that's what they're doing. And you know, while we were all on vacation, on a three day vacation because of Memorial Day weekend, um, they were taking advantage of that. So stay safe out there. Make sure that you patch your system. And if you haven't patched your system, make sure that you shut down the, uh, you know, internet connection. Um,
that nobody can connect to it um, from the outside because otherwise you will be hacked so this is it for this video guys uh, thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one stay safe out there